Seven. Welcome back, everyone. Brock Bowling and Corey Hodges yeah. with you. And, uh, well, Corey, so far the Chris Clemens show has been pretty much all as advertised. He's halfway to his season average of 30.1 points per game. He has 15 in the first half. He's missed only five shots. He's 7 of 12, but all five shots he's missed have been from three-point range. But his teams have played much better over the last three years, and part of that's because of that man right there with the ball, Chris Clemens, as he forces one inside and scores the game's first two. Here comes Chakor Nelson, trying to slice his way down the lane, turned it over, second one on Campbell early in this game. Hammond flies up the floor and lays it in. Hammond, Holmes wide open for the three! Last chance for Upstate in the first half, one second to go. Hammond puts it up and puts it in! Hammond beats the clock, hits a three, and Upstate leads it at the break by eight. And for Pepper, that's his fifth point of the night. Davidson by two. Grady down the lane for the jam! This is the ACC on ESPN. Today from Keenan Stadium in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, it's college football action as the Western Carolina Catamounts take on the North Carolina Tar Heels. And a pleasant good afternoon, everyone. Welcome in. Brock Bowling, Ronaldo win with you. And Ronaldo, Western Carolina has dropped seven in a row. North Carolina has lost six straight. Both teams desperate for a win, trying to build some momentum here as the regular season winds down. Elliott, quick throw, Rontavius Groves, who has one touchdown in this game, has a first down, fumbles oh. the football, and it's recovered by Western Carolina. John Brannon with an interception and now a fumble recovery for Western. Manny Miles, the son of former LSU head coach Les Miles, into the game. Final play of the second quarter. And Manny Miles will send it deep as far as he can. Jump ball into the end zone. Pass is caught. Touchdown, <laughs> North Carolina, Jake Vargas. Adams throws. Wide open, Donovan Spencer out of the backfield. Has a first down and more inside Tar Heel territory. Cutting back inside. Inside the red zone. Down inside to the seven-yard line. First down. Goal to go for Western Carolina. Donovan Spencer with a big play. Welcome to the American Legion World Series as part of Summer of Next, presented by GEICO. As we take a look at the semifinal scores from yesterday, Nevada defeated Louisiana in one semi, 6-1. to one. Delaware had to go extra innings to defeat Michigan 5-4 to four in 10 innings, setting up tonight's championship game, Nevada against Delaware for the title. And a pleasant good evening, everyone. Welcome in. Brock Bowling alongside former Major League pitcher Steve Woodard. Steve, it's Nevada against Delaware. We start with Nevada. This is a very good hitting ball club. Delaware 0 for 2 tonight with runners in scoring position. Up the middle, through this the center field for a base hit. Rounding third and hitting on home is Cotello. Here's the throw. It is late. He is safe. And Delaware has won the American Legion World Series Championship. There's a high fly ball hit deep to center. Back goes Pinto at the track, at the wall. It's off the wall. Rounding first, heading on to second is Rodriguez. He's going to try for three. He's going to get in there, sliding in on his stomach. A leadoff triple for Brett Rodriguez to begin the Wofford Terriers bottom of the first inning. Short lead at first by Mulrine. There's a high fly ball hit deep to left. Forget about it. Over the wall, over the trees, and it's gone. A two-run home run for Caden Dreyer. Throws three main pitches, fastball slider, and a changeup. Throws around 88 to 91 miles an hour. That's according to head coach Elton Polak. Right back to the mound. Could be two. They go to second for one. Over to first double play. A 1-6-3 double play for outs one and two in the inning. This afternoon. Young Mullins, short serve, Carl C. Tees it up for Munson, puts it down. Brooke Munson's third kill of the set. And a point for the Buccaneers. She is so athletic and has the, has the ability to really take over a match with that athleticism. Laporte finds the angle, dig by Russell. Shirley lines it up for Young Mullins and the dig by Blackman. Laporte puts it down. Kill by Macy Laporte, her second of the day. Nice, strong hands over the net for the block. 
Setting it up for Kirkpatrick. The dig by Charleston Southern. Fegler blocked at the net. Mikowski blocked by Ekonegbu, and down it goes for the point. Walked and stole a base her last time up at the fourth inning, but was left stranded on base. Other than that, a tapper back to the circle back in the second inning. And a base hit the left field. Scoring from third is Sarah Price. Rounding third and heading on home is Helton. And Upstate breaks the scoreless tie. It's 2 0 and Spartans with the lead here in the sixth inning. Coach Tom Cole calls Owen a huge impact player for this team. Hits one to second. O'Beer has to hurry. Close play. Got her in time. But Coach Hawkins said one reason why Alyssa Oaks is hitting the ball so well of late is because teams are actually having to pitch to her. Brittany Case was hitting before Oaks in the lineup, but now Coach Hawkins is having Case hit behind her in the lineup, and there's a line shot over the left field wall, and it's gone! A two-run shot for Alyssa Oaks.